Okay, so my name's Carl, and I know what you're thinking. I think that's the guy from Handlebars and Holidays, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, I have been kind of uh, seconded, shall we say, into a video by my friend Len today, and um, I'm really not quite sure what we're doing. I've just been told that um, I'm on board Lens Tiger 900 GT Pro and I have to ride 20 minutes, half an hour away to a cafe or something and I get myself a coffee and um, he's going to try and find me he's going to be riding my bike so I can only assume that he has secreted a tracking device of some description on this bike that's my best guess and he's pretending that somebody's stolen it and he's going to try and find it. The other possibility, there is another possibility, and that is that this is a ploy to, um, in the same way that, a, a, you know, a, a fairly cheap made film would sometimes bring in, you know, somebody like Sylvester Stallone or Al Pacino, in a, in a cameo role to attempt to boost the uh, ratings that that's what he's doing as well it might just be that he's trying to you know that's the reason he's got me here I don't know um, but that being the case I mean if that was the case I think the surprising thing there is that I'm expected to buy my own coffee when I get to wherever I'm going I mean surely Surely when Sylvester Stallone agrees to make an appearance, or The Rock, or somebody like that, you know? Surely the coffee and the refreshments are provided. It doesn't seem to be the case when you're dealing with Len. Anyway, we will uh, plod on and um, see if he can find us. I'm just going to pull in and put the address of this place into uh, my maps because I'm not entirely sure where it is <laughs> right here we go Oh, nice old Mustang there. Beautiful. This could well be the first time this bike's been over about 4,000 revs. <laughs> I think you'd be wondering what's happening today. Look at that. That's a nice old motor, isn't it? Beautiful. So Len's been going on about this for quite some time. And he wouldn't tell me what it was. Just that I had to go and ride his bike and... Well, it's all been a bit of a mystery. But I think as, as, as little bits of information have sneaked out, my best guess... Well, I'll give you my best guess. I think... I think he's bought an Apple AirTag and he's fitted it to the bike and I've no idea what the software involvement is with that but I think he's just trying to track where the AirTag's gone there's also probably a little bit of a it's, there's an excuse for him to ride my Kawasaki my 900 RS which I know he likes so um, maybe the whole thing's just a load of bull and he just wants to ride my bike I don't know <laughs> so being as I'm on board Lens 900 GT Pro I might as well make one or two comments and what a what a nice bike these are that triple it's got just a nice little bit of vibe to it it's just got a bit of, it just shows a little bit of character which is nice this particular example, I would have to say, is filthy. Len, you are disgusting. You need to look after your machine. 
it's filthy. I think, I think Len and I have completely different um, ideas about what clean is. And um, I think Len just likes to get out and ride it. And uh, I, I get as much pleasure out of cleaning things as I do riding things. Having said that, I've done a lot more K's than Len as well, so. But yeah, no, the GT900 Pro is a nice bike. Um, I've got a, a, a GS, a 1250GS, and it comes into a similar category, I suppose. Um, the only significant difference, it feels very similar, actually, once you're moving. Um, the, the ground's a lot closer. Uh, when you put your feet down, they get to the floor a lot quicker. The seat height is way less, which seems strange. It makes it feel small in comparison, but they're a really nice bike. Good size, not too heavy. Just dirty, Len, just dirty. I've actually just realised I slipped up, slipped up a bit. I, um, I haven't negotiated a fee. For this role I'm playing in the uh, in the latest edition of the Naked Bikers. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Hmm. We've got a beautiful day for it today. It's currently 20 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. It's uh, absolutely lovely. Of course, Len would probably say it's a bit windy. <laughs> He's got a bit of a thing about the wind. I think one thing that uh, Triumph should be congratulated on is the quick shifter. The quick shifter on this bike is awesome. I've uh, had a Rocket 3 GT in the past and that had a, the same Triumph shifter on it. Well, I assume it was the same. And it's pretty much buttery smooth. Really good. My, my BM's got a quick shifter on, but it's nothing like as smooth as this, the, the Triumph one. Okay, we're not too far off the cafe now. Coming up. Welcome to the channel. Can't see anything as yet. As the title says, is the Apple AirTag any good to use as a tracking device? And we're going to find out. So, where we're at is a friend of mine like has taken hill. my bike and he is driving, riding somewhere at this moment in time and I don't know where. And I'm going to try and find him. I've told him uh, not anything. much, really. I haven't given him much information about what I'm up to. He has a an inkling that, that I have, have some sort of tracking device on on the bike, but I haven't told him what sort of uh, device it is. In fact, I've, I haven't confirmed or denied I've got a tracking device. But it's going to be an easy guess, isn't it? If you uh, ask someone to ride your bike and you'll find them, they're going to assume that you have something tracking. So I've just sat outside my friend's house for 10 minutes or so and um, at the moment I'm just riding uh, just meandering around because outside his house when I've gone in to find my device which is linked to my motorcycle the Triumph Tiger it can't locate it as such its last location was at my house <laughs> so I set off uh, about an hour or so ago from my house I've ridden to my friend's house, Carl. Uh, we've had a quick chat and he set off. And uh, whilst I've been looking on my app to see it, hopefully to refresh so it locates where my bike is, I've had no update. <laughs> so it's still at my house. I don't think he's ridden to my house. <laughs> Mind you, that would be, uh, that would be funny. <laughs> that would completely flummox me. Uh, maybe he's done that. Um, I doubt it. So uh, I'm. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Um, I know I'm in uh, somewhere near my friend's house. I'm going to pull up somewhere where it's quieter, 
and then I am going to uh, just see if the app has updated so I've just ridden round hoping that the app will update and I'm in a brand new estate look so uh, it's a building site where I'm at so it is nice and quiet all right well let's just roll up here oh. and I will have a crack at finding where Carl is so Carl uh, he's been a good 20 minutes ahead of me now I might have to abandon this <laughs> so maybe the Apple AirTag is not very good for tracking uh, the whole idea was that I thought I would just use it as a cheaper alternative to a proper tracking security system so I just thought if somebody uh, pinched my bike and I guarantee that AirTag is located on my bike um, I just thought that I would get a ping on my uh, mobile phone or my iPhone and it would tell me that uh, it's not nearby and that way then it would prompt me in real life this would be uh, that someone's taken my bike I would then hopefully know where that location would be call the police and ask them to have a look in that area so today would, uh, would be a test to see if that in theory would work at the moment <laughs> it's an epic fail okay so we're basically here we're heading over to that dome over there so we can find a spot nice and close where I can see the bike ain't looking too good Oh, perfect. Okie dokie. <laughs> so this is a, a cafe that we uh, we haven't been to before. Oh, lens ringing me. Hello? Hello, are you at your destination? I am, just arrived. All right, good, good. All right, so you, you've got to where this secret location is. I have, I've just stepped off the bike, yeah. Good, okay then. So I'm, uh, I'm doing my best to track you at this moment in time. Okay. All right. Now, uh, where we're at, because uh, you obviously know I'm doing some sort of tracking. Yeah. Uh, you don't know how I'm doing this. I don't and know how you're I'll doing tell it, you no. now. No, uh, and, I, and I don't know how it's doing it because <laughs> it looks like it's an epic fail. Oh, right. I, I currently uh, don't know where you are. So I, when you left me, uh, I, I was doing what I was doing in the background that you don't know about. And... Um, it hasn't refreshed as such, so I don't know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to wait and see if something happens, or are you giving up? Well, well, I'm going to give it a few minutes whilst I'm having a chat to you, because uh, when you went, uh, I sat and stayed in your garage. Yeah. So I didn't do anything apart from just seeing if I could see this thing refresh. So then I thought, well, maybe because I'm inside your house, you know, your area, so I've rolled out, uh, close your garage door, security. And then um, uh, I gave it another few more minutes and it, it wasn't refreshing. I mean, I mean, I'm not far from where you live, but I'm, I'm in the, some sort of new estate. I don't know where I am actually, but it's not far from where you are. Okay. Beachside Drive. Right. You'll know that, yeah. All right, so I've just stopped and then I've given it another chance to sort of refresh. <laughs> oh, it's Standing updated. here in the sun it's with updated. my helmet on, so let me get me, let okay. me come off the phone for a minute, get my helmet off, get sat down, and then either ring me back or, or whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's it's just updated. It has refreshed, so I've got some uh, You've got I've got some breadcrumbs to work with. Yes, okay. I've got a, I've got a goer. All right, so bear with me. Oh, bear with and, you. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll see you hopefully You're on the soon. Clock. It's all going on the bill. What bill? It's all going on the bill, Nobody so it doesn't matter. Clock's ticking. <laughs> Wait, we didn't discuss any bills, monies or anything like that. 
All right, I'll see All you right, in a I bit. I better get off then, save myself some brass. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon, right. hopefully. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Okay, so I have got uh, something. So let's give it a, a crack. Thanks for bearing with me. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to do a screen recording. So you'll see how, my, how I am now taking the route to hopefully find my stolen motorcycle. All right, we're off. In 400 meters, turn left onto Grand Ocean entrance. So I have a turn off in 400 meters. It's a left turn. You may actually hear these instructions through my headset, I'm not sure. If it's loud enough to hear through the whole uh, helmet and where the mic is located, you might hear. Turn left onto Grand Ocean entrance. Okay, so we've got a left turn here. That's us. In 350 metres, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Grand Ocean entrance. So thanks, Carl, for your help for this, for this little experiment. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Grand Ocean entrance, then turn right. Turn right onto White Haven Avenue. So it's just a matter of now just following what the uh, Google Maps tells me and it will show me a proximity of where my bike is. With that, I believe that when you get closer to where the Apple Air tag the is, take the first exit it points the out where it road. is. Okay, so when we're going this way now, left, left here. So I've pretty much uh, come to uh, where I first started. <laughs> uh, Carl will recognise this road. Take the first exit onto Burns Beach Road. So at least, as far as, as I'm aware, Carl has travelled about 20 minutes away from here. So we're not that far. I mean, this will be long enough to obviously just test how this works. It did take an age to actually update. First exit onto Burns Beach Road. So I think I was I would be about what was that? Um, what time are we on now? Where's your clocks on your bike, Carl? For your for your your time? I don't think it has one. <laughs> All right, I don't know what time it is. Can't see it In on my phone. But I would have said exit onto Burns Beach Road. I would have said it's it was a maybe. It's been about half an hour for it to update. Now, in the real world, if my bike was stolen, then it's more than likely going to be overnight. Someone would have to go into my garage, break in, somehow get the keys and take off with it. I mean, they're probably hot wire it, I would assume. I don't even know if my bike could be hot wired. So, with that, then if they did manage to hot wire it, um, they would be off and gone. Um, I would be waking up about six, seven, eight hours later uh, with my phone saying um, the uh, the air tag or the tiger is uh, nowhere to be seen. With that then, I would hopefully be able to see the location, At the round call the police the and then potentially go there myself road. as well. So um, that would be my theory anyhow. Now would this be good enough to use as a proper security for a stolen motorcycle? Uh, I'm not sure because this is not exactly real world testing 
but it's a, at least it's a good test to see practically if it would be possible. In 800 metres, turn right to merge onto Mitchell Freeway towards Perth. Okay, so it's taking me onto the freeway now. So I don't know where he's gone. Maybe he has gone to my house. So I don't know whether you uh, heard the phone call then, but he was, the uh, land was flapping a little bit that it wasn't working at all, whatever system he's trying to use to find me. And it sounds like it's refreshed a little bit now, so he's in with a chance. It just remains to be seen how long it takes, I suppose. I'm about, I would say about 20 to 25 minutes away. So, um, if I'm still here tomorrow lunchtime, I guess it's a fail. <laughs> Mind you, I like the food at Dome, so we're good. I'll try and catch his arrival on camera if I can. We'll see. Now, what I'm also wondering is that that was the last updated uh, location. So I might get to that point wherever this is going to take me, and then he, At the line, that might have just been a memory of where it was for that point in time. Perth. This may have updated again, and he's moved on from when it last sort of updated. Now, I'm not getting complete uh, refreshed data from uh, the my find. I'm just looking purely now at Google Maps to take me to that destination where it said it was last seen, which was a minute ago, the time I set off, which is maybe about 10 minutes ago now. Now, I'm heading on the freeway, but I know I won't be on this for very long. It's, it's obviously oh, it recorded the last location of my Triumph Tiger uh, in a district nearby called Warwick. So it's only down the road. I obviously can't play around with a phone whilst I'm uh, riding, uh, unless I want a big bill, <laughs> bigger than Carl's bill that he's charging me. Okay, so with six gears on this bike. Now, In this motorcycle that I'm riding is Carl's. Road. It's a um, Kawasaki Z900 RS, I think it is. I should know because I quite like the bike. I would consider actually buying this bike, not his, but this type of bike. Uh, it's an inline four. It's a very smooth engine, very uh, cruisy, very comfortable to ride. The seat's very comfortable. I've only ridden it maybe oh, 20 minutes, half an hour before. So this has actually given me a free test ride on this car, on this uh, motorcycle. So I have 12 kilometres to go down this uh, freeway actually, so I won't bore you anymore. We'll pick up, exiting all being well, the freeway. So I've been here about 10 minutes, no sign as yet. If I had nicked the bike and it was trying to find me, I'd have it half stripped down and the wheels on eBay by now. And <laughs> it's causing me to put weight on doing this for him, you know. I was on a very strict diet. No sign. Mm. Okay, so we're taking this exit here off the freeway. traffic lights use the left lane to turn onto Warwick Road and we're going to take a left so once I get a chance I'm just going to refresh that uh, my find app and see if turn it has a, a more up-to-date location for my uh, stolen uh, Triumph Tiger I'm not accusing you Carl of stealing me my bike just go along with it mate I'm just going to pull in straight away into here and just refresh the app. Let's go in here, spin the bike around and then take a look. In 450 metres, turn right onto Thornhill Way. 
Oh. Turn left onto Aronce Road, then turn left. Okay, so let's go into neutral. So I'm 27 minutes in now, just over, and still no sign of him. The um, coffee and the Florentine are a thing of the past. And uh, sitting here on my Todd, getting looked at very strange for talking to a camera. Hmm. So it's taking, obviously Len's not going a, a direct route because it's now, I'm 28 minutes and I think it only took me about 23 minutes to get here. Um, so, mind you, we probably set off a few minutes after me, so it's got to be pretty imminent if, if whatever he's using is um, decent. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it still suggests that um, that same route is where the bike is located. The uh, last update was uh, 24 minutes ago, so that could have been when I set off. So maybe that is the true location of the bike. Traffic lights, turn right onto Dorchester Avenue, then at the roundabout, take the first exit. So we're right here. See, I don't know how often it refreshes and updates. I mean, it took it 20, 30 minutes before it uh, advised that it was elsewhere, my bike. Uh, I didn't actually get a flash up on my um, phone either to say it wasn't with me or nearby me, so uh, that was a bit disconcerting. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto Dorchester Avenue. In 500 metres, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Dorchester Avenue. So we go straight along here by the looks of it for a wee while. In 500 metres, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Dorchester Avenue. So straight on, keep going basically, it's saying there's a roundabout coming up. And straight through. It's telling me to go left after this here, into a car park. But... Is he at McDonald's? Can I see my bike? I'm going to go in here first. Turn left into the car park, then arrive at your destination. Okay, so... In 350 metres, arrive at your destination. Okay, so the bike is here somewhere, supposedly. Unless he came here for a short time and then moved on. And then it hasn't updated and refreshed. Meters, arrive at your destination. So then I wouldn't know. So I'm just going to have a total around this car park and see if he's tried to hide somewhere being a bit sly I don't know I mean I did tell him that the time it would take for me to find him if I did find him it might be worthwhile to go to uh, somewhere of interest for him or somewhere there he can get a coffee or something so I assume he's gone to like a a coffee shop or some eating establishment alright I'm gonna go around the other side of this car park. I have a feeling he's either gone to that McDonald's, which I didn't think he was much of a fan of McDonald's, I'm not sure, or he's in another coffee shop, maybe in here somewhere, but where's the bike? I don't think I can actually, I have to turn right here. I can't go any further, turn so. Turn left onto Dorchester Avenue, then turn left into the car park. Okay, I think I actually came in a little bit early. I think we're on the left hand side here, off the road and turn left. I think he's in here somewhere. Turn left into the car park, then arrive at your destination. Okay, so it's saying turn left in here. And there she is, I think, look. I think he might be here. You may not yes, see her yet, here, but you will very here. shortly. There she is. There you go, spin you round. Arrived. And you see that little orange helmet coming in there? 
So it looks like a successful mission. I don't know who this dude is, but he's on a very nice looking bike. Oh, and a wave. And a wave. Let's roll it up here. All right, so thank you, Carl, uh, for stealing my bike <laughs> and having a coffee at the same time. I suppose we've got to say it works, whatever it is. Apple air tag, I reckon. He likes his Apple stuff, does Len, so I think it's an Apple air tag. Here he comes. The man of the moment. A man amongst men. A man's man. You've stolen my bike, you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back. Well, it works, whatever it is. Now, come on, spill it. Is it an Apple air tag? Um. Yes, it's an Apple Air tag. I was right, I was right. From the word go, guess this, a couple of weeks ago. He's back me in. Thank you. All right. So. So, we'll put that down as a success for now. <laughs> but I suppose one of the flaws is with the security, so um, I think because they sell the, the Apple AirTag as a tracker for a motorcycle or also for a motorbike, uh, sorry, a motor car, uh, that it doesn't tell the other person that they're being tracked as such um, until 8 to 12 hours later. So I think that's why they've got that timeline so that they make it uh, a trackable thing for a motorcycle or motor uh, car. The, 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 the other element for security is that it needs to be uh, safe for people who aren't getting stalked so maybe that's why it's between 10 or 8 to 12 hours it will start notifying that person nearby saying there's something that is on towards something's tracking you and then it alerts a person that they're being tracked so they're trying to do best of both worlds so for $50 uh, it might be worth investing um, yeah the battery lasts for a whole year apple guarantee that the battery lasts one year so uh before you have to re not recharge it but actually replace it okay so for now we're going to say that's a success uh i'm going to leave it as is i think and use it for the bike as a tracking system hoping that nobody steals the bike of course but if somebody did then it might be a good little backup saving hundreds of dollars every single year using a professional tracking system because you pay for something that you might not use whereas this it's fifty dollars that hopefully you don't use as well but it's only fifty dollars so uh, make what you will of that all right thanks for watching much appreciated thank you carl for uh, helping out today and uh bye for now